the first talk, uh, at the morning uh, section, uh, will be given by Professor Kavazoi, uh, and uh, the title of this talk is New Carbon Allotropes Predict and Confirm Theoretically. But uh, I more like uh, uh, the title given in program, Pentagraphing. Please. Доброе утро. This is only one. I'm sorry. I can say to you in Russian. So, Grafen, you are studying the title of the conference, Grafen and 2D Crystals. But Grafen is the last carbon nanostructure. No, no. People are now study, you are now studying. But there are a lot of different types still. And you can make a new one. After finding something, people rushing to work on that subject, already Nobel Prize awarded, so you have no chance to be Nobel Prize. But if you make something very new, your future is very bright. Only on the subject already finished is not so much interesting. So we, we studied and uh, find something. And me, theorist, cannot make any synthesis, so I have 3D print this one. You can, you can see, it's very difficult to understand what is pentagraphen, but by this way, you can see. So please experiment, let's make it. Real pentagraphen, this is something, <laughs> it's a model. So fundamentally new, it's something, and it's not only shapes different, but properties also I will show you, very interesting compared to the normal, already found hexagonal graphene. So it is composed by pentagons completely, and this is the history of carbon allotropes. And a long time, still in the textbook, it's written that there are two kinds of crystals of diamond and uh, graph graphite, basically graphene, and this is not true. You know, we have been searching for sp3, sp, sorry, sp2 partners of 3D structure of graphene. This is we have found K4 non-structure. And also for we are studying sp3 partners, and this pentagraphene is a sp2 and the sp3 mixtures having the 2D, almost 2D, sheet structure of carbon allotrope. So this is a very different type of mixture of sp2 and sp3. But you know, sp2 bonded graphene and sp3 bonded diamonds are not counterpart with each other. They are different and we should understand what they are. So in 1985, C60 fluorine was found, and after that many, many people studied, but still not so easy, that I will tell you the reason. And 2004, Russian young guy found two types, a uh, new type of carbon 2D structure, it's called graphene, peel from the graphite and layer by layer, so 2D nanostructure, and people rush, you are rushing to study now, okay. And again, many, many people announced that. And another, another allotropes for 3D is basically SP3 bonded partners of diamond. There are a lot of different uh, shapes, and there are different properties they have. So it is very interesting to study these things. But the problem, as I told you, abundancy, for example, people study one. C60 from Holland, people discuss to make it C70, C82, something, even uh, lanthanum inside C82 was in the cat, in the science, boom, but abundance is almost zero. So even C60, if you want to purchase 99.99 or over that, it's very, very expensive. So we, we should be very careful. 
to be really applicable in the industry and other things, depressing something by carbon outlooks. So these are very expensive and not easy. So these problems still remain. And nanotubes, for example, people discuss about something, but nanotubes are mixture. It is not possible to separate metallic nanotubes from semiconducting nanotubes. And properties are not easy to be controlled. So still it is not easy to you be used industrially. So many programs still remain. Same thing for graphene also. So industrial applications for such as battery electrodes, something we should consider from the very basic. So this is the one which we proposed <laughs> about 20 years ago. This is a metallic ion included C60. At that time, it was not possible to make this kind of thing because C60 is easily formed. So by the arc discharge, this kind of thing is n never found. Only C82 containing something, but this abundance is almost zero. So it's not useful anyway. But we propose after making C60, after that we bombard as a plasma the the ionized ion, metallic ion, can pass through. I will show you. And experimentally, also, this, you know, bombard something at the electron, uh, maybe 50 electron volt energy. I will pass through C60 cage and trap the inside, and the cage is healed, so we can make it. And my friend uh, actually believed what I told 20 years ago, and he ceased to work from a very good company and opened a venture company, and he experienced very, very long time, not so good condition. But now, very recently, this is basically produced abundant of C60, uh, sorry, uh, addition ion included C60. And now his product is sold out. And um, it is useful because it has dipole moment and really useful in many cases. And chemists are much interested, and it, not only in Japan, but in, uh, for example, Italian, French, American, they started. And I don't know, they, uh, still in Russia, not much popular <laughs> to use this product. We can uh, give you some sample. And it's very, I, I think it's very interesting. So there's a more new structure and properties. We theorists, I'm sorry, most of you are experimentalists. You know, in the nuclear physics, I actually graduated the nuclear physics course, and there, always theorists predict something, and the experiments only follow to find it. But in the material science or uh, solid state physics, quantum chemistry, Experimenters make something, and theorists only explain. This is no meaning for theorists. So I want to predict something new, and please follow me to make it. This is what I want to do. And also, we should study the relationship between different allostops, how to make it. So from graphene to diamond, this is long-term history to make money, making diamond from cheap carbon now and not successful but theoretically it is possible and we are trying to find the best paths coming to the diamond such kind of things we can propose but not easy to do it you know for example the American computer company IBM says think but only thinking we cannot produce anything only meditating like Buddhist or something and uh, for scientists we should study more and what is the situation and compute. And this is the basis. We have brain. Even this monkey has brain. He said, oh, I have brain. So please use your brain. But to run your brain, we should study more. Not only sticking something at the moment, like graphene. It is a boom. People working on that. And please have more wide view of the materials. So this is pentagraphene, composed, complete by <coughs> pentagons. 
no hexagons at all. And it is stable. And it has very interesting properties. I'll show you. So these are normal hexagon-based carbon structures, nanoflake, nanotube, graphene graph. Basically, starting from graphite, few one by one. And those are, uh, OK. So these are the 3D structures also. There are a lot of different shapes. Basically, composed of hexagons. And even there are rules called isolated pentagon rules. You know, when C60 was found, oh, OK, two pentagons never touch with each other. So pentagons should be isolated. So it is called isolated pentagon rule. But what does it mean? It is only very limited region they have found that two pentagons never touch with each other. But it is general rule or not, nobody checked. And we have checked that this rule is wrong. We can make anything. Isolated pentagon do is something in very limited region where you know basically the hexagon based carbon nanostructures structures where you have not much seen two pentagons touch with each other. But it's not a general rule at all. So you are limited working in, in the power of the Buddha or something. There, pentagon never touch. But outside of that, there are a lot of things which two pentagons, even I will show you, many, many pentagons touch with each other. This is a C20 case. It is computed <coughs> first and then experimentally. Photoabsorption spectra shows that this shape changes the best energetically, green shape next, and this sort of coralline. Third one and C twenty cage is comparable energetically uh, higher, lower bounding energy, but still it is bound. You can see less than zero EV. It is bound. So we can make it. It is non equilibrium. Anyway, all carbon allosteropes are non equilibrium phase, except for the graphite. So it, it, we can make it by some synthesis method. So my work has uh, been reported in many, many things, even in, as Andres said this morning, in Russian journals. This was advertised. So we are very happy. And thank you very much for organizing to give me a chance to talk to you concerning this new also. So pentagons touch with each other. And this is not the first case. Pentagons makes such kind of structures and stable. This paper was published in two years back, but it has very big hole, not completely pentagon only. So we tried to make completely all pentagon based carbon sheet, and we have found it. It is like this way. And it's not easy to see. This is, you know, not completely 2D. It has some thickness. This thickness is about 0.2 ohms. Point 0.2 is almost the distance between two carbon. So it is actually this part, you can see, sp3 bonded. And this is really a part of the diamond. And this part, you can see, 3 bond, sp2. And this is just like the uh, graphite bonding. So it's complete a mixture of graphene and the diamond. And it is stable. And this shape has been known in Egypt, in Africa, called Cairo tiling. You can see such kind of tiling in Egypt street in the, uh, in the Cairo city. So this has been known as Cairo pentagonal tiling. And they are really the same. So we named it pentagraphene. And checked energy. So this is graphite, graphene, and this is the pentagraphene. So not so much different, one EV part. Okay. This is metastable, but still it's very stable. And we checked the uh, dynamical stability, computing the phonon. It has no imaginary phonon. So mechanically, even if uh, change this shape, it comes back. It's, it's harmonically stable. So by these things, we can say 
we predict that this can be synthesized experimentally. It, it is a stable model, metastable model. So these are the, so pen, this is hexagonal uh, graphene, and those are called graphene, very big hole. One, two, three, four, carbon, three, one, nine, and making, again, hexagonal. But no pentagon. <laughs> so we also check the thermal stability, applying the ammunition market dynamics, and we have confirmed that up to 1,000 Kelvin it is stable. And even it has a defect, maybe experimentally, <laughs> completely hexagon-based graphene pentagramming is difficult. Some part, always, even in um, hexagonal graphene, you have defect. So we check the defected pentagon, uh, defected pentagraphene, and also they are stable up to thousand. We checked at 300 Kelvin. But up to very high temperature, it is stable. <coughs> so this is a very interesting subject. What I want to show you is the negative Poisson's ratio. Poisson's ratio, you know that when we pull something this way, and it shrinks this way to keep the volume, but this is different. It has negative Poisson's ratio. If you, this is normal, but if you pull this one, it expands also this way. You know, it's very simple geometrical structure. You can show negative Poisson's ratio. And for our pentagraph, it shows if you pull this way, it expands this way. Of course, it keeps the volume, so in Z direction, it shrinks. It becomes more flat. So it is very much big stretchability compared to graphene. Graphene is from the first moment 2D, completely 2D. So it's not easy to pull to expand it or compress it. But for the case of pentagraphene, it is in the sense shrinked and you can pull, make bigger. So it is. It has big stretchability, and it is maybe useful to make under the pressure no change shape, no change, no shape changed material can be realized by using pentagraphic. So it has very interesting physical chemical properties also. So this is stretchability we have shown. Theoretically. Poisson's ratio should be minus 2 to well, oh, uh, 0.0. And normally, this is a standard spring. If you pull it, <coughs> this direction is shrink. <coughs> but pentagraph, if you pull pentagraph, it will expand this way. So it's very stretch. But uh, as a material, it is known as a uh, uh, polymorphism of silica SiO2. It is one. Well, one form of it increased barite, it has negative Poisson's ratio. So it, experiment or, or uh, in the reality, there is such kind of no, uh, negative Poisson's ratio material existing. And you drink uh, vino, <laughs> you always pull, take this coke. This has almost zero Poisson's ratio. So you pull it and put it and keep the wine fresh. So this is very useful material for us, for our life, to drink wine. So electric properties, we also, and it has very big band gap, almost direct, but not exactly that, quasi-direct band gap, semiconductor. And, you know, this is completely, by any one, pentagraphene is semiconducting, no metallic no, no metallic pentagram. So it is not like graphene, no mixture. So we can wrap it to make penta nanotube. Nanotubes are, as I told you, mixture of metallic nanotube and semiconductor nanotube. Not possible to separate metallic to metallic and semiconducting nanotubes. But for our case, if you make the nanotube from pentagraphene, any nanotubes 
having only semiconducting properties. So we can clearly make semiconducting nanotubes by using the pentagraphene. So we can check these things. And the band gap is stable, mechanically, uh, dynamically, and summary. And the band gap is something about, this is LDA calculation, but uh, semiconducting we can prove. So these things, depending on the chirality, wrapping direction, metallic, semiconducting, mixture. So it's <coughs> not easy to make the pure semiconducting or pure metallic nanotubes by hexagonal nanotube, hexagonal graphene. But by using the pentagraphene, you can make pure semiconducting nanotube. So, so 3D structures composed of pentagraphene. So you accumulate layer by layer the pentagraphene. They make, they form so-called T12 shape of the uh, diamond. It is not exactly diamond, but you can make such kind of nanostructures. So this is called T12 carbon. It published 22, sorry, three years ago. And by this way, <coughs> and it is uh, dynamic and stable. And many different stacking, again, similar to the graphene, hexagonal graphene, we change the position and making A, 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 B, A, A, B something, stacking. And all of them are stable. Very interesting properties. And you can make, it, make them experimentally. So how to synthesize? It is my proposal you can make. Maybe if you are very good at observing by uh, transmission electron microscope, because it is stable, maybe uh, Ijima-san found nanotube, you can find it in a uh, suit the after, after uh, arc discharge. There should be such kind of nanostructure. But how to synthesize? Okay, starting with the T12 carbon and pre-stop hydrogen. This is a kind of intercalation between two layers. And according to our initial molecular dynamics simulation, one sheet will be separated by the carbon doping. Ah, sorry, hydrogen doping. So th this, this way, layer by layer, detachment like the scotch tape peeling is possible. So now I, I, I'm concluding that we have tested and confirmed that this kind of pentagonal shape, only pentagons to the semi quasi 2D structures of carbon is stable and you can make it, and it has very interesting properties like negative Poisson's ratio, and simply, not depending on the chirality, everything is semiconducting and something like that. So lastly, I'll show you what I cannot compute. I don't understand. This is five months set, but important message that, you know, many theorists compute something, but sometimes they don't confirm. It depends on the models or parameters, but we did it and confirmed it. You know, no parameters. We don't use any experiment parameters. We start from pure quantum mechanics, and we have proved that this pentagram should exist, and it could make it. This is what I'm saying. So how to do it? You know, in the textbooks, you have learned something about isolated pentagram. It is not general. I have <coughs> proved that this is not correct. In some limited areas, you have studied such kind of rules, but you can come out from the rule, and then you can find really new materials. Within the limited area, you cannot find something very new. So this guy shows, you know, you can see these eyes. From different side, you can find something very new. But, you know, you study something, but you cannot come out if you only stick to something what already established. So you can come out from the present status and you can find something new. Spasiba.